Let's talk about biotechnology. So biotechnology refers to the use of microorganisms to make substances which are useful to humans. So it means we can actually use microorganisms to make substances useful to us as humans. So these include medicines such as antibiotics and insulin as well as foods such as mass, which is fermented milk. Mass is, uh, is found in South Africa. So um, bread, wine, and cheese. So all of those, they can be made, they are actually made from microorganisms. So let's look at the making of antibiotics as our first type of biotechnology. So natural antibiotics are made by fungi known as penicillium. So antibiotics basically are these medicines used to treat bacteria or bacterial disease. So in this case, penicillium, which is a fungi, is able to uh, is actually able to create an antibiotic, so uh, which is found in the skin of fruit. So on the skin of fruit, you can, you can, we can actually obtain or we can actually get a fungi known as penicillium. So when the mold is collected and put in a vat at about 25 degrees Celsius, such as the room temperature, with sugar and amino acids, it grows and multiplies rapidly. So it means that those conditions are necessary so that the fungus penicillium is able to grow. So after about five days, the penicillin is produced by the mold can be removed and purified. So this penicillin is coming from the penicillium, which is a mold, which is a type of fungi, which is able to attack bacteria. So the making of insulin. So we can actually make insulin. Remember that in nutrition, we talked about insulin as this hormone produced by the pancreas to by, by the pancreas to be able to regulate the blood glucose levels or the sugar levels of the blood. So the pancreas in the human body produces ins insulin to regulate the blood glucose content of the blood. If the pancreas does not function properly, the person is said to have diabetes mellitus. So people with diabetes need to control their intake of sugars and must inject themselves daily with insulin. So bacteria can actually make that insulin, which is able to regulate the blood glucose content of the blood. So Let's, let's actually look at how insulin is produced. So a plasmid is, remo is removed from a bacterium. So remember that we, we looked at the structure of a bacterium whereby we saw that there is a plasmid. So a plasmid is actually removed and it is cut open by enzymes. So enzymes, you are, uh, enzymes are used to cut open the plasmid. As you can see here, the plasmid has been cut open. And then a chromosome is actually taken from a human. And then a DNA fragment is obtained from that chromosome. And then there is actually a formation of a recombinant DNA. So let's actually look at what that is. So remember that a plasmid has been cut open. So uh, the, the DNA fragment, which is actually coming from the human, is actually used here to replace this, the, the, this space which was cut open, this space which was cut open by what? By the enzymes. Therefore, there is a recombinant DNA formed. So let's actually look at those processes in in writing form. So you can see that here, firstly, a plasmid is removed from a bacterium. So here, a plasmid is removed from a bacterium. That's the first process. Then this plasmid is actually cut open using an enzyme. So there are certain enzymes which are able to cut open that plasmid of a bacteria since it's microscopic. So a piece of DNA containing the gene for making insulin is extracted from a chromosome taken from a human pancreas cell. So remember that the pancreas can have a chromosome inside. So from that chromosome, we can actually obtain or we can actually extract a piece of DNA containing the gene for making insulin. Remember that the pancreas is, is, is something in the pancreas is actually able to make insulin. So that gene which is able to make insulin in the pancreas is extracted and it is actually combined. So this DNA is joined to the plasmid from the bacterium to form recombinant DNA. So here there is a combination that's why it is called recombinant. So recombinant means that there is a combination of DNA in this case. So the recombinant DNA is a combination of the DNA from the plasmid and the DNA from the chromosome from the gene making uh, for, from the gene that's making insulin in the pancreas. So the recombinant DNA is inserted into the bacteria. So that DNA is actually inserted back into that bacteria. So the generally the, the generally engineered bacteria are grown in large vats contain nutrients. So it means that those bacteria actually, they are, they are, they are genetically engineered. It means that they've already been engineered by, by the combination 
of the DNA of a human pancreatic cell and the plasmid of a bacterium. So this is now genetically engineered. So these are grown in large vats containing nutrients. So they can actually put large vats which can, by which they can actually put nutrients in there to actually grow this bacteria in large amounts. So the DNA is in the bacteria instructs the bacteria to make insulin. So actually the bacteria is now able to do the function of the pancreas. The insulin is then extracted and purified then that insulin is actually injected into a person and then they can actually it can actually uh, act uh, it can actually do its function as it has been produced in a bacteria so this is basically the biotechnology thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe recommend your friends to stage